not good RNG. Unfortunately, we'll, we will get a slow plus siege sax kill, but it will be a kill nonetheless. Yo, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? And welcome to attempt number two of this godforsaken speedrun. Alright, I did a terrible explanation of the run on stream, so here is a quick summary. Today we are doing the All Remembrances glitchless speedrun, which requires the player to beat every major boss without the use of any glitches. Although that part can be debated somewhat. This is by far the most interesting speedrun I attempted, as this category utilizes possibly the most broken weapon in the game, the Death's Poker, to decimate all of the bosses. The world record for this run is just under 2 hours, which is ridiculously fast for a run without glitches. My goal for today is to get in a sub 3 hour run, but for that I'll have to play the best goddamn Elden Ring of my life. This run starts, as any good speedrun does, with some mushroom collecting, horse killing, for the buff golden bow of course, and the mandatory death of everybody's favorite NPC, because we are just that greedy for damage buffs. As you previously saw, the main gimmick for this run is the Death's Poker, which is acquired from a specific death right bird inside of Kaelid, which we cannot hope to kill at the beginning. But with a little bit of knowledge of the known laws of physics, there exists no puzzle that cannot be solved. The problem here is, is that this cheese is quite inconsistent to pull off. The chicken tends to either burn you to death, or push you off the edge, or straight up just, well, kill you. I experimented with different strategies here for about an hour, and restarted the speedrun like 4 times before I managed to solve this issue. So to save you all some time, the answer to our problems is from what I can tell, the tree stump. By covering in fear beneath the tree stump, and repeatedly begging the chicken to fall off the edge, the chicken will eventually give in to our demands, and do exactly just that awarding us with the coveted Death's Poker. Just make sure you stay as close to the edge as possible while blocking, for extra safety. Armed with that knowledge, it was time to dive into our final speedrun attempt. Oh, Death Bird! Why? One hour in actually, my god. We've been at this goddamn bird for a fucking hour, guys. I swear to Christ. Uh, I might be vegan. But after this run, I'm probably gonna start eating birds again, I swear to Christ. Just to take, just to take vengeance. Just to take vengeance on the fucking death right birds. Come on, Alexander, this is the third time I'm killing you today. I'm getting PTSD from killing you, my friend. Okay, at least we are getting good at this skip, guys. We'll go for the world record in like two years. Oh, you little bastard. Not this shit again. Just fall! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Go to hell! Let's go! Uh, left hand your death poker, guys. Always left handed. Uh, what the hell do we now do? I completely forgot the entire part of the game actually exists. Yeah, we need to go learn the other side. Okay, pop this. We're gonna level up death poker here immediately. This is a changed part from the last route. And the reason why we're leveling it up immediately is because we're gonna kill the, the Godskin Noble right now. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, Dogos. Uh, we got Spectre Lance because Spectre Lance is actually a thing you can use in this run to make it even more consistent on some bosses. Uh, because Spectre Lance allows you to apply poise damage uh, when bosses are, like, lower walking towards you. This god skin, we only have one try, and if you don't kill him, we lose a bunch of time. Why did this happen? He should have not done this. He might kill me here, guys. That was scuffed, but we managed to pull it off at the end. I have zero clue why I didn't get staggered there. He should have been staggered there after the third, like, hit. Watching bosses' health bars melt is satisfying. I agree. Die, Margit. Okay, bad, bad RNG. Die the frostbite, bye bye. <laughs> this is one of the most satisfying things to learn, by the way. Dodging these goddamn ballistas. This is not gonna hit me, right? No man held that me. He's gonna stagger now. Fantastic. Hit him once, restore FP. Stagger should be built up now. 
He's gonna stagger the moment we get into second phase. Please stagger. Or he's gonna die, that's also a possibility. Goodbye, Godric. In this run, you want to level up Vigor and in Intelligence the most, if you're curious. You need to get Intelligence at least to 50, and you need to get Vigor at least to 40. Preferably 50 in both. Why can't Torrent walk up this? That's so weird. Now we are stuck in Torrent RNG hell. Oh, that's nice. That's, that, that is just very... That was beautiful, guys. Throw a Kukri in his face! Get your ass over here. Alright, good fight, absolute destruction. And now we go Radan, guys. Another hard boss fight. Is there any easy boss fight in this game? I should have become a micro speedrunner, man. I should have become a goddamn Minecraft speedrunner, guys. You fucking kill the end boss with beds. No speedrun in this game, you kill any anybody with beds. Radan, stake skip or stake of America skip? Punch fire giant to death. <laughs> Why do you want to torture me, guys? On my, like, lucky day. Come on, guys. Not the best, but good enough. Not the best, but good enough. Hit him, guys! Hit him! Goodbye. Let's go. Solid Radan kill. Yeah, the Death Spoker is insanely overpowered. I do not know who thought that this glorious casting stick of doom was a good idea. Oh, I'm getting bared! No, 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 no. I will not have my speedrun be stopped by fucking rune bears. Never venture too far in Russian forest when picking berries. Yes, I agree. Also in Croatian forests, by the way, uh, my, my village where I come from, uh, it's basically under a mountain. Like, literally under a mountain and it's by the sea. So sometimes uh, wild pigs, which is like boars, basically, come down into the village with like their pack. So sometimes we get an announcement to stay in, to stay in our houses uh, because there is a pack of wild boars roaming around the city. And we just kind of like to let them pass by before we can actually go outside because those guys will kill you. Those guys will kill you very fast. I will never forget the shield boys. The shield boys are a necessity. The shield boys are a necessity, guys. Yeah, the shield boys are necessary for two fights, guys. The the Fia simps, the tier 3 subscribers of Fia, and uh, 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 Gideon. Gideon is the final simp that needs to be killed. Mimic time loss incoming, but it's not that much of a time loss. Finger Slayer Blade. Okay, um, Rani's Rise. We go back to Rani because we need to give her the blade immediately. And then we go to the Lake Broth. Let's grab the plus 7, or this is the plus 8, actually. Now we go round table hold, and now we go fight the Valiant fuckers. We are still currently technically setting up right now. Roger are dead, that's the entire set. And the rapier, perfect. Alright, this is the strat, guys. You want to hit him with one spectral lance while he comes towards you, and we do it now. Now we should get staggered here. What? He didn't get staggered? What's happening? Oh, I'm getting bamboozled again. I got bamboozled, guys. There we go. I wonder what really pissed off Miyazaki about me. There we go, one down. Oh my god. What unlock. Thank the gods. Bro, this is the unluckiest gargoyle fight I've ever seen in my life. It's impossible to hit him! Oh my god, this is the clutchest victory I've ever done in my life. Bro, how am I alive? Guys, I'm getting simped again, my god. The sims today have had it with me. Throw dodge at everything. Right. It's one down. Why is this guy doing the worst thing he can possibly do in this situation? Die, please, you idiots. Die, 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 die. Good fight, good fight. Oh, RNG fight down. Jesus Christ, almighty in heaven. The tier 3 subscribers are rough. 
They would be tier 4. If they could, they would. That would be so funny, man. Nice. Capital skip. Very nice capital skip. Let's prepare for Godfrey fight. Should stagger, I think. There we go. Come on, Godfrey. You're so lucky you can't be frostbitten, my friend. Pop. Pop. Tank it. And blaze it. Good fight. Bye-bye. We go in. Roger's rapier twice. Destroy him. That's the strategy. Roger's rapier. Wait for his attack. And get blasted. And blast him. I'm actually alive. It's insane. How am I alive? How am I actually alive? He's wild. Okay, he's dead. How am I alive? <laughs> Look at my health. What is this? I took all the risk there. My god. Frost resetting by fire isn't an option. Some speedrunners carry fire pots with them to reset frost. They do, but uh, you need to be very... The more things you add in the speedrun, the more complicated it gets. And I want to keep it simple. Now we go to the other part of the run, which I really don't like, which is Nial, guys. I need to be very careful when fighting Nial. We get the first try. Nice. First try. First try. Castle Soul Skip. And now... He didn't get hit by the Ghost Flame. Perfect, perfect. Nice! Let's go! Perfect, perfect. Should be perfect, I think. Oof, I'm too nervous. I need to commentate for the YouTube video. YouTube, if you're watching this, I'll commentate later. <laughs> Why do you need to kill me? Ah, that's a good question. You need to kill Nial, even though you don't need to pick up the medallions. You're allowed to do the Snowfield skip only if you kill the Nial. Only if you kill Nial. Because Nial is a required boss fight to get the Halic Tree medallion that you would otherwise use to get to the Snowfields. It's a thing that's uh, agreed upon by the community that if you want to use the skip, you have to kill Nial first. And by the way, in a glitches run, not a glitchless run, but with a, with a run with glitches, you can do that skip and not need to kill Nial. That's the difference between a glitchless run and a glitches run. Where is the invader? Usually, usually the invader literally sprints over the edge here. And there he goes. Yeah, this guy likes to, like, vanish into nothingness as fast as humanly possible. Like, this guy is basically, his entire existence is speed running to death. He just wants to die as soon as possible. Quit out here to disable his AI. Nice, very good skip, very good skip. Nice, 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 let's go, go, go. What spawns there is basically a massive skeleton that shoots laser beams. It's the most giga chat thing ever, but it's also very scary. Don't slip down, please. Oh my god, I actually fall, fell down there a couple of times when doing this skip. Mo is the most non-RNG boss fight ever, by the way. We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do two. And I'm gonna do three. Now we are much better prepared. Now we can do it. Yeah, this is much better. We have a lot of stamina now. We should just throw our one here and he should die. Dead. As a chicken. Nice. Put of the forge. Now we got the, the remembrance. Let's go kill five giant. It's not the worst RNG. It's not the best RNG, but it's not the worst. Nice! He actually got hit by the ghost line, which is great. 
should die here very easily. Especially if that happens. And he is dead. Goodbye, fire giant. I go to hell. I go to goddamn hell. Like the stream, boys. Yeah, fire giant is extremely fastly. Yeah, yeah. This weapon is great against big enemies. Have to be kidding me, man. I can't believe he dodged it. Why did he dodge it? It's not bad though, guys. No, it's not worry. It's time loss, but it's time loss, but it's savable time loss. But I'll show you guys what you can do if you don't manage to sleep the godskins. You can summon Chad Bernal. Unfortunately, very much time loss, but savable time loss, guys, savable. And then he's gonna take his attention away, and then they're gonna die. Good fight. Kill him, kill him. Nice, nice, nice. Good fight, good fight. Let's go. Nice. Very nice. The moment I calm down, everything goes well. The moment you're a little bit uppity, like hesitation is defeat. That is the truest statement ever to be put on screen. We glint blade twice, and then we win. One, two, three. He didn't stagger! You have to. Why didn't he stagger? Is it hyper armor? It has to be hyper armor. It has to be hyper armor. And then the poise reset. Oh, it missed all of them! Did you see that? All of the glint plays currently missed. Every single one missed. It's his goddamn hitbox. Now I understand what's happening. All of them missed. All of them missed. Die. Just die already. Goodbye. Now I understand what happened. Yeah. They literally, all four of them completely missed his entire body. And that's what confused me there. Oh my god. So there are certain attacks where the glint plays just miss completely. Would have been good to know that beforehand. Alright, let's not mess up this guy. Messing this guy uh, up is a massive issue if you mess him up. Some of these guys. They pushed him away. Make this, shit. this shit up. Today the shit cannot be made up, guys. That today is just cursed, guys. Today is just not today. This is the most annoying boss fight to have ever graced anything in life. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. What the hell? Saved. Saved by the bell. Oh my god. It's not even much of a time loss considering how annoying this guy is. I don't know what to say, guys. One of the Great Shield soldiers for the first time ever actually attacked, pushed the Gideon out of the way, and the second attack missed, making the strat undoable. Okay, I'm just out of practice, it seems. Out of practice and out of time. It's actually not a bad ghostly fight, believe it or not. It's actually a pretty decent ghostly fight. Nice. Very, very nice. Now he's gonna do his face transition. Time. And he's dead. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Alright, let's go kill the other ones. If everything goes well, we'll get sub 3, but we'll see. The deer unfortunately likes to go haywire sometimes. Oh, 
Staggering this deer is impossible. The moment I say staggering this deer is impossible, he gets immediately staggered. Nice. I feel like the game is mocking me at this point. Oh, such solid energy. Just go get close to me. That's the only thing that I really want from you. That... I pointed my stick at him and he died. Where is she? Now I'll disappear. Backstab! <laughs> what the? That is that was an amazing Renala kill. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, now we go to another hardcore fight, which is Placidus Axe, guys. This one. That's how it's happening. Not good RNG. Unfortunately, we'll, we will get a slow plus each size kill, but it will be a kill nonetheless. Should be dead here. Doesn't matter what he does. Yeah, he's dead. Plus, he's scary, guys. Because he can kill you so fast, man. Why is he attacking when I'm nowhere near him? Like, I don't understand. He's probably input reading. There we go. I've never seen worse Astella RNG. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Every teleporting boss is shit. Yup. Die! Bro, he's still not dead. Bro, trying to hit this guy. Oh my lord. Die! Jesus Christ. What's up, Fia? Massive time loss ahead, guys. God damn it, Fia. Why are you talking so much? Set up the Radi and Boldakin blessings for Rikard. Why am I letting her advertise the OnlyFans? The route requires it, brother. The route requires it. You little degenerates in the chat. Just tank it, Toto. Just tank it. Don't care. Literally don't care. Good fight, Portisax. Portisax? Portisax. Forty pussy. Let's go to Rikard. The best strategy in this run is definitely undoubtedly Rikard, because you use these things that Fia gives you uh, to overcome Rikard's uh, lava problem, basically. The lava pool of Rikard basically always staggers you, making it very hard to kill him with any weapon besides the Serpent Hunter. But the Boulder King's blessings, if you don't know, give you almost infinite poise, uh, allowing you to tank the, the poise breaks from the lava every single time, so you can just basically stay beneath Rikard and blast his ass with the web, web weapon arts. It's actually glorious. You want to blow the king around here, and then you just dive in. Now we're not gonna get staggered, we can just blast him. If you just get a little bit lucky here, we're gonna kill him. He's dead. Rackard dead. Now we pop the second boulder king. Glint played here, unfortunately we got pushed out, but we sh should be still fine. The Radiant Boulder King basically lasts like 70 seconds in infinity. Bro, he's not taking that much damage as I would like him to take. He's moving too much, that's why. He's constantly moving out of the ghost lane. Very, uh, extremely bad RNG. He's moving too much this time around, but the, but the hardest thing in the world is still yet to come, which is this and Malenia. Like, I love, the, I love how the entire path to Malenia is basically the hardest thing ever. Do you see what happened currently, guys? I need to quit out of the game right now. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. How to skip in the game that easily done? You're amazing at that? I'm, I practiced a lot. I, I practiced a lot. So I need to jump like here, right? <laughs> Bro, you, can't, you cannot make this shit up, man. Well. No, I, I've he I've he I've heard him trying to spit at me. We are quitting out at the bottom, guys. Like, I feel like I'm gonna stand up from my chair and break a leg today, with the luck that I'm currently having. Why are you that far away? 
Nice. Fortune, this is horrible RNG. Nice, 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 nice. Horrible RNG, but good fight. Surely Malenia goes well. There's always a possibility. What's the time even? 2.45 is pretty good. Let's see if he can get his first try. Well, we're not getting good RNG anymore. There we go. She got confused there for a second. Literally confused and confused me as well. Nice. What is what is happening? You cannot be serious. This is the worst Malenia I've ever seen in a while. Nice. I don't think I've seen a worse Malenia in a long time. That's not over. That's not an exaggeration. Nice. Be that here. There we go. First try Melania. You can fail everything, but it's important to first try Melania, guys. That is extremely important. Now we go back to Leandel, Elden Throne. Let's finish this, guys. Nice. Good RNG. Not the best, but not bad. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Should I take a repost here? I actually don't know. Taking a repost here is kind of risky. That's that guy dead. There we go! Stagger! Staggers for the boys! Oh yes, baby! Oh shit, he's being weird again! He is being weird again, guys! Come on, do the Elden Stars! You know you want to! You know you want to do the Elden Stars! Yeah, 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 yeah! Let's go! We wait for the Bing! And we quit out. Man, the Elden Ring! Skip the cutscene, skip the cutscene! 250! Let's go! 250, boys. Elden Ring, all remembrances in 2 hours and 50 minutes.